Hey, good morning, Rick and Bubba. Hey, buddy. Uh, I just I was listening to you guys earlier this morning talking about pandemic, and uh, I was wondering if you guys heard anything about like a second wave coming in the summer and whether or not that will affect uh, college football come the fall. Well, well, of course we've all heard the the terrifying second wave. I mean, <laughs> the, now now you know, and then the third wave. Yeah. Well, 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 we do know this. Let me say this, Rick. Look at history. I know this is crazy that we should look back at history. Uh, if my understanding of what I've read is correct, the Spanish flu, when it came through, we did have a second wave in the fall, and we had another one the year after, and then it went away. So did, there, there is some validity to did that you, thing. Did you see the pictures, and I think it was Spanish flu, that they took of people watching professional baseball with masks on? Yes, mm-hmm. yes. I mean, they didn't stop yes. having baseball. Yeah. They just the, the people Everybody were, was sitting in the stands with a mask on. Yeah. And yeah, and somebody sent me something over the weekend again, another thing, saying that in 1968, we had a it had a bunch of letters, but it was like H one N one whatever, and uh, and they went ahead and had Woodstock. Oh yeah, I saw a, that a, headline, even, even though it was out there. And and I looked at the death rate from 1960. So see, I've always been looking at the one in 2018. Yeah, because that's so new. Well, they said the death rate of that one in the in the late 60s was a hundred thousand people. And they didn't shut the economy down, and they they, mm. e- they even had Woodstock, and uh, so that nearly marijuana <laughs> must work good against. It. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you don't I, 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 I want to be clear: <laughs> no one on this show, nor am I, saying that COVID nineteen is no big deal. Okay, yeah. What we are questioning is shutting down the entire economy like you turned off a light switch. Is that the response to any influenza? You know, like Bubba said, and he's right. Nobody's talking about the flu numbers. I don't know why, but I would guess we don't have as many flu cases as normal because people aren't out moving yeah, around. Because yeah. we, we all stayed locked up for if we, Hey, listen, if we shut down the economy every time the flu gets here, we won't have as many cases. Yeah. Mm. But you can't do that. And we would stop pretty much it. all car wrecks if we limited the speed to five miles an hour. Yeah. If you take out no, the we word, can't do that either. If you take out the word COVID-19 and replace it with influenza or the flu, Hey, President uh, Trump's driver got the flu. Oh, man. Hey, somebody in Pence's group's got the flu. Okay. Hey, you know, it's at our school right now. The flu's just rampant. They, we're out. We, we, we shut it down for two weeks because we got so much flu. Well, yeah, that, then that sounds like any flu season. Uh, and is it more deadly? Might be more contagious. Might, more people may get it, but is it more deadly? I love this doctor that, out of Tuscaloosa. He said, I treat influenza patients and I treat COVID-19 patients. Nobody has an easy time with influenza. When you had the flu, you're down. Yeah. There's oh, yeah. a lot of people that get COVID-19. We've talked it about that. I've it, had it one time in my life. I thought I was dying. He just said, I've treated both. He goes, I got multiple COVID-19 yep. positive people mm-hmm. that had not affected their life at all. Right. But if influenza puts you in the bed. And, Rick, I think mm-hmm. what you're saying is true, yeah. but the, in the flip side of that is I'm not blaming people, and I don't think you are either for what happened because we didn't know. No. This is this is a learning curve. I mean, we didn't know we're dealing with the Black Plague or the – you know, the Spanish flu, but we've learned we got that. We're talking about the numbers. The scientific data has proven we were not dealing with that, but we didn't know at the time. We'll know next time. I think we'll do a much more conservative situation on isolation. I don't think we'll close the economy again when it pops well, we back can. up. And the, it will the, pop back The answer to the latest coronavirus or influenza, the answer can't be depression. Let's, let's put ourselves back into a, a modern-day depression. That can't be the answer, and and I and I think for the economy or for our own spirit, right, right. <laughs> and and so we did something because we were told we didn't know about it. Here comes this unknown monster, and we're it's more known now. And you see economies that are starting back up. And yes, there's going to be people that get sick, and there's still going to be people who die, just like there are people who get sick and die every year during the flu season. Sadly, but you cannot shut down the entire economy, and sadly. We're now crossing into a time now which makes it harder for us to follow information. We're now asked to discern information, science, propaganda, agenda, and politics. With social media and an election year. Yeah, yeah, but <laughs> and a media that is crazy. Remember, right the now. election is just in November. It's not oh, yeah. that far away. So would some people want the economy to stay bad all the way to November? Would they have a reason for wanting that? Do you think, well, they wouldn't, they wouldn't ruin our whole country over that? They only got to get to November.